the Polygon commercial. Brought to you by Draco Soap Card. Polygon. Okay, so a little bit of history on Polygon. Polygon is made by Andrew Price. He is the Blender Guru. Famously known for his donut tutorial. Anyways, he owns Polygon. Polygon is awesome. So these are all my assets right here. My assets. Everything that I have bought on Polygon. There's the blender that I used when I was doing that little joke about using, doing Draco Does Cooking. Uh, and I was going to make a pizza out of a blender, in a blender. Because it was a blender tutorial. Blender, get it? Anyways, and there's, I own all these models and all that stuff. But anyways, we're going to go up here. We're going to switch over to textures. Now, these are my assets here, but we're going to go to, I'm going to show you all the free ones. These are all free textures. You could log in right now and download these textures for free without having a membership or paying for credits. Isn't that awesome? Notice I already downloaded them all. That's what this little green check is. Pink, pink, pink. All right. Now I'm going to show you all the latest textures. There are 3,761 textures on this site. Their price ranges differ like this one is 10 credits but like here's all the snow you can switch it yeah we just got a whole bunch of different materials and once you download these materials once you purchase them too or grab the free ones you would click here download for 10 credits and then it would pop up saying re-download free so once you get it it's yours also you can get it in 1k 2k 3k 4K and 6K images. Um, just remember, higher the K, the better the quality, but the higher the resources to render. So unless you're doing something real close, 3K usually is good enough. So there's a whole bunch of different tiles and a whole bunch of stuff, but today we're going after wood. And so... I already found the ones I like and I picked them out so, to make this shorter so I wasn't sitting here thinking while doing it. Now, so I'm going to click on my, my assets and show you the ones I picked for the desk. So I picked, I want to see what these ones look like, but I'm not probably going to use them because it's too much. No, I want to see what they look like. Um, but the one I did like, I like this one. I think that's the one I grabbed today. Uh, was it this one? No, that's a flooring. You don't want flooring because they have little board textures. Um, I can't remember what other one it was I checked out and I thought I liked. I don't know how this one's in here. Wool. I typed in wood. I don't know why wool's in there. Uh, was it this one? No, it definitely wasn't that one. Oh, I think it's this one here. You know, I like this one. It seems neat. Well, we're going to try this one, that one. Now, there's... Um... One of the things to make things look realistic is you're going to want to do surface imperfections. And there's a couple different types of perfect imperfections. You can apply more than one, but you got to be careful because they start interfering with each other. Um, one imperfection would be scratches. Another one would be dust. Another one would be stains. Um, but like I said, you don't want, you can add too much. And I'm going to be showing you in the main video when we're texturing the Alchemist desk on how to do those um, to make your stuff look more realistic. Not so shiny in some areas, but shiny in others. So, 
if you uh, click the link up there, it'll take you to that video. And be careful you don't get stuck in a loop because that video will take you to this video. Kind of neat, huh? Anyways, <laughs> um, so another thing about Polygon is it has models. We're going to go there. These are all my models, but we're going to go to the latest ones. So if you wanted a rock texture, that look, these are the photorealistic ones they do. So you can like lay a whole bunch of these together. You can do whatever. But these are 3D models. They're, they're pretty sweet. I wish you could rotate them. And they'll show you a little demo of it. So there's that little round one, but it looks big here. And they'll show you what size it is. Look at that. Kind of cool. I will be getting some of these for later projects, maybe. Right now, I have no need for rocks for the wizard study. But I wish I would have had these for different projects. Um, like, I had a, did a project that was called um, After Man. And, uh, Life After Man. And I had a skull, it's buried in clay, and it's got a plant coming out of the eye socket. Um, this image uh, would have been a lot easier with models like this. But I didn't have it, that kind of... I didn't have that kind of asset available to me at the time. So all the clay, the clay textures from Polygon, but all the little cracks and stuff were all designed in. And all the little dirt particles are procedurally generated. Oh, you can get that rock for free. Um, they have plants. Um, I will be getting some of the, grabbing some of these plants for our herbs and stuff. Because, you know, got to have plants. Look at all these plants. I already own this one, and this is, you can see, not the, the jar, but the, the root look. You can see that in my image from the Magic Books contest I entered. Um, we won't be using any of this furniture because it's too modern. We will, however, be using some of these pots. Not the blender. Look at the food, looks Pretty good. Um, the wooden bowl, like, I thought it was kind of neat. Like, I bought the cherries. I got the bowl with it. The bowl, it's the same bowl that's in each of these. And the wooden bowl, same as in each of those. I think I already own the wooden bowl. But look, you got cutting boards. This one was free. So if you wanted some knives, if you bought this, the knives are full. They're, they're full knives. You know, so you don't have to, uh, I mean, you get all of it. Like, maybe I'll, oh, I already have this, so I can open this up, bring this into the wizard's study. I can grab a spoon out of here that I would like in my wizard's study. Um, same goes for, like, this pot. Same goes for this little art piece. I can grab that and stick it in there. I was looking at these jars. These jars are pretty cool. There's some wooden ones. There's some clay pots. Some these ones are old looking, so these would be good on there. There's the salad wooden bowl. Um, I wouldn't have pen and paper in that time zone, but see, there's some books here. I might grab these books. I already own them. So I'll probably bring these books and put them on the shelf. Not these ones. These ones are too modern. Uh, no, no need for soda or newspapers. And one of the things that's really cool is, let's say you want a really good glass texture. Get this one. It's free. And they have a glass texture. That's not standard glass texture. It's pretty good. That clock is pretty cool. Anyways, you get the point. Now, for textures, if you want to apply the textures in Blender, and I don't know why I can't find it here anywhere. Maybe it's down here. Um, no, see, I don't... 
I have not been able to find it on their web page. But they have this thing, this um, plugin. So you come up here and go Polygon. And I looked for it earlier. So let's see if it's still in here. Nope. Let's get rid of the www in front and then maybe I'll pop up. Yeah. Polygon Material Converter. Just go to this top one. It takes you back to the Polygon page. And I, I, like I said, I don't know why this isn't a button on their page. But this is a material converter add-on, 2.9 plus. Um, just download this. So we're going to switch back over to Blender. So you go up here to Edit, Preferences. You would say Install. You would locate that file. Mine just happens to be in with all my textures. Uh, actually. It, I have a set, it's right here because that's the last thing I did. You say install add on. I'm going to cancel out of that because I already installed. Okay, this is Draco from the future. I noticed when I was recording this that when I hit the cancel button there, the preference window vanished on OBS but not on my screen, so I didn't notice it at the time. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you guys the um, where I was talking about. Or what I was going to talk about. So under preferences you have this window here. After you install it. I'm not going to hit the button because this won't come back up. After you hit install. This will pop back up for you. And you just type in. P-O-L for polygon. This will be unchecked. It will look just like this. So what you do is you come in. You click this box. Click this little arrow. I would come over here and click auto check for update every week. And if you won't. You just downloaded this, so you won't have to check this box, but this will show that I'm up to date. Also, I have my auto save preferences on here, so I don't have to hit save, the save button because it doesn't exist. So I just hit close, and I'm done. And then over here, I pick an item. So you get your textures, but if you come down here, you get your polygon material converter. In this, um, you have to... Hit open and find your textures. Mine's in my H drive. So I would, let's see, if I was here, i go to H, go down to textures, and this is the folder I want to be in. I don't want to be in any of these folders. I just want to be in the folder where all the folders are for your textures. You say accept. You have to unzip the texture zips that they give you from their site into this folder. It doesn't have to be named textures, it's just what I call mine. Then what I like to do is hit the refresh material converter button here. So anytime you add one, if you have Blender open, you have to hit the refresh button in order to add that texture. So if you're working on the fly. So now, I'm going to start with this top piece here. If I wanted to apply it, I just come down, go down to wood. Or anything um, really I'm gonna get more detailed in the video episode 8 of the wizard study let's say I just pick I'm gonna pick just one of these let's pick this one if I wanted this to be that I just sit hit load and apply material and there it is it's loaded and it's applied now this is not unwrapped and there's no seams but just for grins and giggles, if I go here, say all UV project from view, there we are. But you can see there's already a displacement map. Let me show you that. So what this polygon material converter does for you is it sets up your nodes for you. Now, I don't know, there's probably other sites that might do this, but look at the work they put into this texture. So if I come over and go wood, fine, dark, I can come in here and look at all these nodes. I don't know at all what they do, really. Tab to get out of that. Each one of these. There's just so much work they put into it. 
And the thing is, each texture set, I believe each texture is done, to look like what it's supposed to look like. So once you apply that, you don't have to touch this for shininess. But in the next video, I will be sh in the other video, I will be showing you how to apply dirt. Um, so let's go back over here. So like all this depth and stuff is automatically done. You can go and adjust it if you want. Just make sure you hit that disassociate. If you want to use this texture in multiple places, you have to come in here and click this to copy it. So when you change it, but you gotta be careful because when you come in here and change this node setup in here, it will change any that use that node setup. So you just gotta be careful of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see me apply to the materials to this alchemist desk please click on the link above here and it will take you to that video until next time stay creative